hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks and y'all it is time for my infamous empties okay now i know that i have gotten a ton of subscribers since my last empties video for whatever reason the channel was just really you know kicking in a high gear and i don't know y'all i felt so inspired so i was using up so many products and i'm gonna tell y'all right now y'all might as well just go grab a drink go grab a snack and and buckle up because let me show y'all how many empties we got in this bag so y'all know i got it in my regular regular little all these bag but baby the bag is just about full y'all so if you are not new around here um hi my name is mink i would love for you to go ahead hit the subscribe button down below and join our kinky crew family but as for this year, I set a goal for myself to finish 150 products. Now, as for our last empties, I had 72. I think it's safe to say we're at 100. Yeah. So, um, I feel like that's enough talking. We got so many products to run through here. So, let me shut it on up and let's get into it. So, the first thing that I went ahead and pulled out of the empties is the Texture ID Coils Detangling Conditioner. It's a little bit washed out on my camera, but I do have a review on it up above. So if you are curious to hear in depth about my thoughts, um, go ahead and click the i-card and watch that up above, okay? Um, because we're going to do a rapid round of these reviews because, y'all, I, I have so much stuff here. Also, I'm thinking in 2023, I'm going to separate my beauty and hair empties because, y'all, I finished a ton of beauty empties and I finished... A stupid amount of hair empties and I know that my empties videos have a tendency to get real long as I'm sure this one's about to meet so look forward to that in 2023 because I'm taking over in 2023 but as for this conditioner it was a cute cool conditioner you know what I'm saying it claims that it's detangling um I felt like that was a little bit of a stretch to go ahead and put on the bottle I do have the mask from this collection so I'm excited to try that out I haven't tried a ton of texture ID products so yeah next i have an oil that i finished this past wash day and this is the cream of nature coconut milk essential seven treatment oil that's what the bottle looks like it's coming up weird because it's clear of course it's four ounces it was a cool little oil um would i buy it again probably not it does smell good though next i went ahead and finished the curls and potions chebe and mint chebe clay gloss my good sis afro opinionated she um was talking about this product then we did a collab video and she recommended that i try this product and it's not a bad product i just don't think that my hair likes clays y'all like i tried chocolate kinks and curls um y'all know i've tried aztec and now this and um it's messy it smells like outside like i just don't think that clay mask or for me um this isn't one that i would repurchase it's pretty pretty pricey but I will say that Curls and Potions always has a sale. So if you are interested in trying it, I would get it while they have it on sale. Next is something that is absolutely always in my empties. And that is good old Dr. Bronner's. The Peppermint Scent. I love the Peppermint Scent. It's one that I'm going to always repurchase. Like, I've tried just about all the Dr. Bronner's. And the Peppermint one, top two and not two. So I picked this one up from Marshalls. They're usually like 11 or $12 in there. I live right down the street from a Marshalls. So I just, you know, run in there when I'm typically in there. I know I'm running low. Um, and I'm a always, I'm a always had a peppermint one in my house every time. Going along with body care, I have another body wash. And this is from Coors. This is the Lily Bouquet. So that's what this one looks like. It's 13.53 ounces. I'm pretty sure that these are in like Sephora or something. I'm going to try to link all the products down below y'all. But y'all know I have a ton of products here. So, you know. Um, but I'm pretty sure they have these at Sephora. I really, really like these body washes. Um, I do think that they're a bit pricey. Um, I didn't necessarily like the Lily Bouquet. Y'all know I love flowers. If you watch my vlogs, y'all know that I am a flower girl. Um, I just, I don't know, y'all. Like, this smell, I just, it's not that it stinks. It's just not one that I would repurchase. I did try the um, olive oil one, and I really did like that one. I finished that one in a different empties somewhere along the way. Um, I did like the body wash. I would just choose a different scent the next time. This is the Lavender and Aloe Moisturizing Co-Wash from Eden Body Works. 
So y'all, this is what this product looks like. And this is 12 ounces. And y'all, listen, I tried this product at the beginning of the year. I'm just now getting around to finishing it. Um, and honestly, I, I'm i not the biggest fan of the lavender and aloe collection, if I'm being honest. It just, I don't know. It's just not hitting for me. Um, I don't know. This is the first co-wash that I've used from Eda Body Works. I do have the coconut um, original lime one and I want the papaya castor oil one but this one is just amazing like it foamed up a little bit in my hair like my hair was super moisturized the smell is absolutely therapeutic I actually had a body lotion and I'm almost done with that y'all I love this co-wash is an absolute hit and I 100% will be repurchasing this when they have that $5 Cinco de Mayo sale. Alright y'all, so next I have two hand soaps from Bath & Body Works. If you are not new around here, y'all know that at the beginning of 2022, I moved into my first apartment. So I am buying things that only I want and the things that, you know, to me it sees fit, okay? So the first one that I had was the Watermelon Lemonade. And y'all, this is a summertime classic. Um, it's just, I feel like this is just something you always need to have. Like the candle, the, you know, hand lotion. It just smells so good. Like, it just smells like summertime to me. Is this a scent I would repurchase? Absolutely. And then I also have the Pineapple Mango. And again, just classic summer scents, but they still smell like clean. This one, I also would repurchase. Next up, y'all, I have an empties from My L. This is the Mint Almond Oil. It's 8 ounces. Y'all, I had this in my stash forever. Let me tell you something. Forever. And I finally finished it. And y'all, I actually really did like this oil. And um, I don't plan on going crazy with My L, but I do see myself repurchasing certain items from her again. I've already repurchased the Mint Almond. Wait. This is the Mint Almond Oil. I repurchased the mint rosemary one i really do like that one um i've had some shedding and thinning around my edges and i wanted an oil that i know for sure works y'all know i usually don't repurchase oils if you watch my empties videos i have a ton of oils but i, I just don't see me repurchasing them like i just don't so um this was another really good oil and it's more economical the rosemary mint that one is like four ounces or something it may be two ounces honestly um and this was a this was a pretty good comparison um i've been using this throughout my natural hair journey since i got it so it wasn't all the way full but it is a pretty good product like i wasn't mad at it and when i tell you there ain't nothing left in this bottle like i use i used it for real next i have another body product and it's another one from bath and body works this is the sweet tropical vanilla so that's what this one looks like and i think this smells really really good i think it, it has more like a musky scent on top of the vanilla so it's not just in your face vanilla but it has sort of like a i don't know there's an undertone so okay there's keynotes on the back y'all it's tropical vanilla smart sparkling tangerine um tier flower um dulce de leche and sugared woods so the woodsy smell is what it, is popping out for me i did like this um i honestly don't see me repurchasing a whole lot of body lotions body cream situations from bath and body works if i would it would be the um body cream i really do like this scent i'm i'm not 100 percent sure that i would repurchase because honestly the moisture just doesn't last for me with the bath and body works products all right y'all next is the indian healing healing clay we all know what this is whether you use it on your hair or on your skin I really like this clay. I picked this one up from Amazon. Child, like I do everything else. Um, I probably will expire. I probably will pick this one up again. Um, I don't know. I don't find myself reaching to use a clay wash often. But if I do reach, I'm going to go with this one. Because I'm able to add my aromatic herbs and oils of my choice to tailor specifically to my hair. And it's more economical, like I said. The other clay wash that I mentioned, the chocolate chink chocolate kinks and curls those are all a bit more pricey where i think this is maybe like 12 dollars. and then i have herbs i have oils that i like to add into it and i get more uses so if i was to repurchase a clay it would be this one and i will repurchase this um i just don't think it's something i'm you know running out to go get yet though 
This one is also from um, Curls and Potions. This is the blends from the Volt um, Henna Gloss. And this is what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. I, of course, do have a review on it. And baby, gone, gone. Gone, gone, gone. Um, I was really surprised by this product. It didn't feel like an intense protein treatment. Um, I find out with Ayurveda, Ayurveda, it usually doesn't feel like super harsh and intense and everything. Um, so honestly, I didn't feel like my hair was super, super strong in the moment doing it. But I would realize it later on in the week that my hair felt a little bit stronger. So that's what I'll say about that. I did like it and I was able to get actually a pretty good amount of uses out of this for this to be an 8 ounce jar. So I would repurchase this one if I was buying stuff from um, Curls and Potions. I actually have another hand soap here from Bath and Body Works. This is the Crisp Morning Air. And y'all... Mm, I absolutely love this scent. It's one that I had in my kitchen, but um, this is one that I feel like can go any area in the house, any time of the year. Um, it, it just smells clean and crisp, like it says on the jar. This is absolutely one that I would repurchase for sure. Next, y'all, I have a face wash, and this is from Shea Moisture, actually. It's the Papaya and Vitamin C Brighter Days Ahead Gel Cleanser, and it is four ounces. So that's what it looks like. I got this one on sale from Marshalls. Um, all I see is the red sticker. The The price is actually rubbed off. But um, I remember getting this for a really good deal. And I want to try this entire line, including the body wash. Because y'all know I'm a body wash girl. After my doctor, go watch my go watch my skin routines. Go watch those. Go watch my body routines. You'll, you'll enjoy that. Um, but this cleanser was actually pretty decent. I will say I do feel like it helped with like... The natural glow and shine of my face is it something i would repurchase no um unless i'm in like a pinch or something i have other ones that i just like better that are again more economical even though i got this one on sale it is only four ounces and it was it was a cute cleanser it was definitely more of a gentle one it did have light exfoliating ble exfoliating beads that you would feel on your face but i like to feel a more intense clean and um this one didn't really do it for me like my face was definitely clean my skin was definitely clean but i just like something a little bit i don't want to say more rough but like i like to feel you know what i'm saying yeah i like that next is i uh, a nail dry spray um this is the onyx professional nail dryer and this is the four ounce one Y'all know it takes forever to go through a nail dry spray. I only do my nails like once a week if that is usually probably like every two, three weeks because mm, um, but y'all know I'm about to start working from home. So who knows? I may start doing my nails more, but I only buy this brand spray. I did try a new one from Amazon. Um, haven't used it yet because again, hasn't painted my nails, but yeah, um, this is, this is a, a a good nail spray i don't really know how to judge a nail spray but um it claims to be fast drying i feel like it takes forever for your nails to dry period because i can't sit still but you know it's cute next y'all i went ahead and finished up the sultanicals frizz whiz y'all all know what this looks like what it is who she is and what she does i have a review on this and i feel like my verdict stands on this i'm not obsessed with frizz whiz the way a lot of the natural girlies and guys are I think that it has fantabulous slip. I think that it smells delicious. I don't think the moisture lasts. The, it smells so freaking good. It smells so good. You hear me? Um, but I just don't think the moisture lasts on this product. Like, I found myself intentionally going in with more moisturizing stylers because this doesn't hold up as a moisturizer for me. Like, midweek, I would just feel like my hair is dry and I would apply more. And then, like, it, it just turned into too much. Um... I love that the other girlies love it because we love supporting a black owned brand but as for me this was a no next i have another body care product here this is the tree hut tropic glow firming whip shea body butter so that's what this looks like and when i tell y'all completely emptied that girl out so y'all i really 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 like this body butter and that's what it is it's a butter it says on the jar um long lasting lightweight hydration baby ain't nothing about this lightweight let me tell you ain't nothing about that lightweight girl um it's a thick butter it has shea butter kupawasu butter pistachio and 
something that starts with a G. And um, I really did like this lotion. I will not repurchase this because I hate the smell. Do you hear me? I hate the smell. My mom gave me this lotion because she couldn't stand the smell. Um, initially, when you first open it up and get a little whiff, you say, oh, okay, that smells good. I could probably deal with that. Mm-mm. 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 She lingers and she gets strong. Okay, strong. It gets very, very strong. And um, I would repurchase another Tree Hut body butter. Like, I know they have a lavender one. Y'all know at the core, I'm a lavender girl. And I will be picking up the lavender to go with some lavender body wash that I have in my intensive body care collection. So, I'll repurchase this, just not this. The scent is too much for me. Okay, y'all. So, before we go any further, I have two products in my stash that I feel like are expired. So, this is the Mayo Honey and Ginger Styling Gel. So, this is what the gel looks like. And as y'all can see, it is this brownish color. And honestly, I don't know if it's expired or not. Um, Y'all see that the cap has never been busted open because I ain't never used. Oh, child, now she want to bust it with me. Um, I've never used this product, y'all. And it still smells the same way as when I got it. But I don't know. I don't remember it being this um dark of a color. And then when I went online, they're like white. So... I figure it just be in my hair's best interest to, to just go ahead and let this go. So this will be losing my stash or leaving my stash. I don't have any thoughts on it because I never used it. Um, it smells very strong though of ginger. Also, I will not be counting these as empties. I just wanted to let y'all know that these aren't going to be in my stash. So this and the next product I show you guys aren't going to be counted as empties. So the next one that I have here is from the main choice. It's the Type 4 Leaf Clover Collection. And this is the Manageability and Softening Remedy Leave-In Hairspray. And it's 8 ounces. So that's what this one looks like. And look at this. I don't know what all of this stuff floating around in there is. But I don't like it. I do remember it always being... Uh, like greenish darkish sort of consistency but like I said I don't remember it being this dark in here um I did use a you know like maybe a fourth of the bottle and it's not memorable honestly um I think I was going to end up using it as a refresher anyway so you know you win some you lose some I don't know if you guys can see this but there's a lot of stuff just floating around in there and I want to try the styling cream I have from this collection here pretty soon. But um, I picked this up and was like, absolutely not. So it has to go. We're almost done, y'all. I know I feel like I've been talking forever. So y'all are probably like, girl, shut up. But we are almost done. And I have a ton of products here to count up. And I'm so excited to see where we're at because I think we're reaching a goal this year. Yeah. So the next thing that I have here is a little travel size product. This is the Jane Carter Solution Healthy Hair Complex for Replenish and Repair Oil. Ooh. So that's what this one looks like. And as y'all can see, it's a tiny little one ounce one. But baby, from this one ounce, I do not like this oil, okay? It was very thick and it felt very waxy on my hair. Now again, this is a, this is a little product I've had in my stash for a hot hot minute yeah it's been in my stash for a hot minute so i don't know if it started cutting up while i was sitting there or what but i never used it before then and i i mm -mm, mm -mm. like i said it was a very thick oil which i don't mind a good old thick oil but this left my hair very waxy like i used this i put this in my clay mask because i used it one time to oil my scalp and did not like it and i just dumped the rest of it in the clay mask and I could feel it when I was rinsing out the clay mask and when I was co-washing my hair. So, this is a no for me. Hard no. Next, I have another product here from Onyx. This is the Soak It Off Gel and Nail Coatings in the Coconut Maximum Strength. It's 16 ounces. Y'all, this is just nail polish remover. I'm not very picky about nail polish remover. Um, of course, I don't want it to make my nails dry, but it's going to do that anyway because you're peeling po polish off. So, would I repurchase it? I mean, yeah. Next, y'all, I have a plug-in. Um, I'm not sure what scent this one is. I usually toss the, the little cap with the lids on um, in my empties bags, which I'm, I have two in here right now. So I'm assuming it's one of those. You know what, y'all? I think this is actually the Watermelon Lemonade. 
So, and I had, this is the same hand lotion, y'all. So, I'm telling y'all, it's a staple summertime scent for me. Um, the plug-in, would I repurchase the plug-in? I don't see why not. It smelled good. Um, I don't have a reason to not repurchase it. All right, y'all, I finished a shampoo. Can I get a round of applause? Somebody cue a round of applause, please, and thank you, because I finished up a shampoo, and this is from Honey's Handmade. Um, this is the Melba's Kitchen Collection Edition 2, Melba's Light Beer and Ale Honey Lather Hand Poured Poo Bar. <sighs> okay, and this is a 4.5 ounce, but baby. So this is what the product looks like, um, and it is a 4.5 ounce, and y'all, this product lasted absolutely forever. I feel like that's the thing with shampoo bars, is that they truly last forever in a day so this i actually really like this product but y'all know i do not bangs with honey's handmade no more if you're curious why i'll link the video up above but next y'all we have a candle okay i am through and through a candle girl like burn a candle once every day type like there's some days where like it's a saturday and saturday morning i'm burning one thing midday i'm burning something else the evening i'm burning something else like I'm a candle girl. I'm a candle girl. I'm a candle girl. I'm a candle girl. Okay. And this hands down, hands down is my absolute favorite candle. Now it doesn't really happen often that I say anything is my favorite because I have so many favorites because y'all know I'm a girl's girl. I like to try all the things. I like to put the girlies and guys on, but this candle right here, yeah yeah this is the one so this is the midnight blue citrus from beth and body works baby and nothing up in there so i clean my jars out and i take the wax out so i can put it in a wax warmer um because you just lose so much wax so i bought a wax warmer specifically for my bathroom so that i can leave the wax warmer in there and my bathroom smells like whatever candle you know y'all picking up what i'm putting down yeah Y'all better get with me. I'll be putting y'all on on the tips and tricks. If y'all need to know how I go ahead and do that, let me know down below because I will quick, quick, fast, in a hurry, make an Instagram reel, TikTok, whatever y'all need. But y'all need to be getting all the wax about your candles. Yeah. And next time Bath and Body Works has a sale, this is the one you need to pick up. I already have a backup. I already, I've already opened the backup. All right, y'all. I promise it's just small stuff left now. So we'll put on the speed round. This is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Bamboo Charcoal Detoxifying Drying Lotion. And it's for blemish prone skin. And baby. So this is what it looks like. And y'all, this is absolutely one of my skincare holy grails. So what you do with this is it's basically charcoal um, and a chow, other stuff. And I, what I do is, is I take a Q-tip in and you just block this on your pimples. And when I tell y'all, y'all wake up the next day, ain't nothing there. And I mean, it I ain't nothing there. Not, not no pus, not the whitehead, not the formation of a pimple. It's gone. I don't know what type of wizardry same Shea Moisture put in this, but this is the truth. And I already have it on my list to go back and grab another one from Target because this is something... I will not be without even what this is better than pimple patches to me next I have a toothpaste this is just the crest plus scope it's cool it's a toothpaste another maintenance thing is just a deodorant this is the secret outlash your workday sport fresh um this is the first time I've like really tried scents with deodorants I usually don't because I don't want it to clash with like my body lotions or my like, perfumes you know what I'm saying um, but this smells so, so good to me. Like, mm, 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 mm. like when I went to replace my deodorant, I got this scent. But yeah, y'all, I'm a secret girl. So, um, I've tried other ones like Dove and mm, like, it's not that they're bad. I'm just a secret girl. Next y'all, I have a body oil and the paper came off. This is the champagne toast body oil. And this one did have glitter in it in here um i did not like this lotion let me just be straightforward forward and to the point i did not like this lotion at all do you hear me um it was just real thick and i felt like the moisture did nothing so i always had to do too much to get this to work um i did pick this up from bath and body works if i didn't say so before this isn't my favorite would not repurchase next i have a little car spray again from bath and body works y'all know i'm a bath and body works girl okay 
So this decided it didn't want to focus, but this is the sugar watermelon. And y'all, I put these in my car. They usually have them like three for $22 or something, three for 15. I don't know, something around there. Um, and I put these in my car and this lasted for freaking ever, over a year, over a year, over a year. Um, I don't spray it all the time, but like this just smelled really good. Perfect summertime scent. Really enjoy it. Next, I have a makeup empties. This is just the ColourPop. Um, pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer mine is in the color dark in 170 i love this concealer i've already picked up a backup this is my favorite inexpensive concealer i want to say it's like ten dollars and it don't ever miss next y'all i have another candle um again from bath and body works this is the french baguette i finished this here a couple days ago and peeled the wax out y'all know the drill now um I do like this candle so I'm typically not like a foodie type of candle girl but my sister bought this for me years and years and years ago and I only burn this candle in very specific moments um, when I really want to smell that girl is what I'm trying to say so I do like this candle I absolutely would repurchase but I will only repurchase in this little single wick tiny jar like this because it took me so long to use it I don't see the point in me getting a big jar I have a hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. This is the Cucumber Melon. I'm not zooming in on this. Y'all have seen me use plenty of these little hand sanitizers. I love them. I keep them in my car. I keep one on my purse. Am I going to repurchase? Yes, in every scent that they offer until I find one I don't like. I have a skincare product. This was actually from e.l.f. This is the Super Hydrate. It's a moisturizer with high hydrating squalene. Is it squalene? So that is what this product looks like and I actually really did like it. I had a travel size and this big size and I did like it. Is it one that I see me repurchasing? No, probably not. Like it wasn't anything special in particular. I love a good old gel moisturizer and I feel like this one had pretty good moisture. So if you're balling on a budget looking for something cheap, I would go ahead and try this. But the moisturizer I'm using right now is looking like it's not going to be top no time soon. All right, y'all, next is the plug-in I have going in my living room right now. This is the Georgia Peach. And honestly, this has only about a four-foot little plug-in left, so that'll be in my next empties for sure. I have, this is my favorite, favorite chapstick. I will post a pop-up of what it normally looks like. I don't even remember the name, but I know the packaging. And I absolutely love this chapstick. Like, nothing hits harder than this. It lasts for freaking ever. Will I repurchase it? Absolutely. I have... A 5011 other chapsticks though so I probably will repurchase one and put it in my stash so that I remember that I have it but I have so many chapsticks that I need to finish so but will I repurchase absolutely next I have another toothpaste this is the Perodontax um, and it helps with bleeding gum so if you have sensitive gums I would have highly recommend this I only use this one at nighttime though because I feel like it doesn't get my breath as fresh as it needs to be so this is a nighttime one next I finished a grease okay and this is from sunny isles it's the jamaican black castor oil lavender hair food pomade i got this from marshall's at 1.2 that's what it looks like um i can't remember when i picked this up but what i can tell you is that she is all the way gone i really did like this this helped me moisturize my scalp many a days <laughs> many a days um braids twist outs braid outs everything i really did like it I've never seen it again, but if I would re if I did see it again, I probably would repurchase. I don't use greases often, but that was a good one. And it was pretty clean ingredients too. Next, I have another hand sanitizer. This is the Blackberries and Basil and Bay B. This is one of my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works, period. Like, this is my first time trying it, and I absolutely love this. And I am going to hound Bath and Body Works to see when they drop this again. And if they do it in, like, a candle scent, because I feel like it would be amazing as a candle. Next, I have another little body lotion. This is the Dove Nourishing Body Care Beauty Cream. And my friend gave this to me at one point. Um, and it's it's a good little lotion. And I actually had this at the dollar store. So if you're looking for, you know, just a cute little lotion to throw in your bag. Or, you know, you need a cute little add-on to a gift or something. I highly recommend this. This was actually really good. And the fact that they have it at the dollar store. Yeah. All right, y'all, and the last product that we have is the Bath & Body Works Antibacterial Hand Spray, and this is in the Cucumber Melon. Now, I picked this up during one of their semi-annual sales, and it was only like $2.50. 
I like these better than the little mini hand sprays. I, again, kept this in my car. It was just so easy to... And, you know, keep going on about your day. So, I really did like the, the you know, spray ones. I actually really did like that. But, y'all, I've been talking so freaking much. So, let me go ahead, count these empties up, and I'll let you guys know how many I finished and what we're at now. Okay, y'all. So, I knew we were going to have a big number of empties, but I didn't know it was going to be this big. And this time, y'all, we finished 39 products. 39 freaking products okay in the past couple months and I already have most of my masks are gone I got plugins that are gone I got body care products that are gone so I definitely think that we'll be hitting our goal this year so we are currently at 111 out of 150 products so I'm thinking I'm only gonna have one more empty for this year and you are gonna get that around Christmas so we are gonna see if I am really gonna be able to kick it into high gear and finish up the remaining what 39 products and the fact that I did that in this empties I absolutely can do it and I'm encouraging you guys to come along with me and finish up your stashes because I know I am a product junkie okay like y'all see the stash get into it get into it and that's not even all of my stash I still have a ton of my stash in my hall closet over here um so this year baby I experienced moving with my um stash and that was absolutely ghetto and I've really been working really, 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 really hard to not only finish products, to but to slow down on buying products. And I've been doing great, okay? Yes, I've still been buying stuff, but definitely not at the same rate that I'm finishing stuff. I am tearing through some products, okay? So we are at 111 products. And I'm so, so proud. I'm so, so proud. We're doing the daggone thing. But yeah, y'all, that is the end of this video. So I think we did a great job. I'm sorry that the video is so long. Okay, I'm so sorry. But yeah, y'all, let me know, A, what you're finishing. I want to know. Tell me what you're finishing down below. And also, if you've tried any of these products here that I finished or if you've seen some of your favorites or anything. But yeah, y'all, that's the end of the video. So I love you guys. I hope to see you in my next one. And bye.